ABO Incompatible Transfusion Events Insights Learned from SHOT Reports 2010 to 2019 This video will discuss key data and trends regarding ABO Incompatible Transfusions which have been submitted to the Serious Hazards of Transfusion UK Haemovigilance Scheme from 2010 to 2019. ABO Incompatible, referred to here as ABOI, transfusions can occur with all blood components, red cells, platelets, or plasma components, which are fresh frozen plasma, pathogen inactivated fresh frozen plasma, and cryoprecipitate. ABOI transfusions are considered as never events in England, Wales, and Northern Ireland, and are raised as red category events in Scotland. They demonstrate a preventable breakdown in transfusion protocols and standing operating procedures and can have severe consequences, with significant morbidity and mortality. Although the risk of hemolysis and serious harm is more likely with red cells than other components, ABO incompatibility for plasma components still carry significant risk, particularly in infants. Looking at the trends over this time, there is an overall reduction in the number of red cell ABOI transfusions, but ABOI errors in plasma components are occurring at a consistent rate. This is due to a lack of knowledge about compatibility for plasma components, and the differences between plasma and red cell compatibility. When the patient's group is unknown, for red blood cells, use group O, but the safest choice for plasma components is group AB or A. In the 2017 SHOT report, SHOT recommended that all staff with a responsibility for transfusion processes should have training in ABO and D group principles. This recommendation remains pertinent to safe transfusion practice. We can also see that the majority of ABOI red cell transfusion errors could be picked up at the bedside with a bedside checklist. This has been a key shot recommendation for several years. The requirement to use a bedside administration checklist was communicated by the Department of Health Central Alerting System in 2017. However, a checklist was not used in nearly a third of all clinical incorrect blood component transfused events in 2019. ABOI transfusions have a wide range of patient consequences. These range from the subclinical, where the patient suffers no adverse effect, to those being fatal, resulting in the death of a patient. The following are examples of real ABOI transfusions reported to SHOT during the past 10 years. In 2019, a component selection error resulted in a unit of group A red cells being transfused to a group O patient. The patient had no known group at the time of selection and the error was not detected at collection or bedside administration. This patient did not suffer any adverse effects directly linked to the transfusion. However, in 2015, the wrong unit was collected from a remote issue refrigerator and an error was made when checking the patient identification against the blood. The error was not realised until after the full unit had been transfused. The patient died some hours after active intervention. This case unfortunately resulted in a nurse being convicted of unlawful killing by gross negligence. Adverse events have a wider reaching impact. There is also the potential of severe distress to the family, emotional and professional impact on the staff involved in the incident, a cultural impact on the department as a whole and reputational damage to the organisation. Where staff are highlighted as the sole cause of error, this is likely to have a negative effect on healthcare organisations with no improvement in patient safety. The common themes identified in ABOI errors are laboratory information management systems allowing non-group O red cell issue in emergency and no rule to prevent release of group O FFP in emergency, lack of adequate staff training and knowledge leading to assumptions and deviations. The Blood Safety and Quality Regulations of 2005 state that personnel involved with transfusion procedures should be trained, and this training should be timely, relevant, and regularly updated. This is a good place to start, however, SHOT data has also shown that these measures by themselves are not enough to reduce errors in transfusion practice. Exploring the underlying reasons submitted for ABO incompatible transfusions, one or more of the dirty dozen consistently occur and are commonly identified by staff. It is critical not to assume, but to be vigilant and verify at each step. 
it is also important for staff to be aware of cognitive bias that may influence clinical decisions. The link to the shot bite relating to cognitive biases in transfusion is shown here. Near-miss events must also be used as valuable learning opportunities and investigated thoroughly. In the past four years, there have been 12 ABOI red cell transfusions, but over 1,200 near-miss events which had the potential to result in an ABOI transfusion and the death of a patient. The majority of these cases involved patient identification errors. Accurate patient identification is fundamental to patient safety and must underpin patient care at every stage to ensure a safety-focused culture. Organisations must review all patient identification errors and establish the causes of patient misidentification. Recognising gaps in existing processes, use of electronic systems, empowerment of patients and staff will reduce these errors. In summary, ABOI transfusions can be fatal and their impact is unpredictable, therefore it is vital they are avoided. They are wholly preventable and are the result of a breakdown in procedure. All staff with a role in transfusion should be aware of ABO compatibility for all blood components. Written procedures should be simple, clear and easy to follow to avoid unnecessary errors. The use of a bedside checklist helps reduce the incidence of ABO incompatible errors and accurate patient identification is fundamental to patient safety. Further information can be found on the SHOT website at www.shotuk.org.